Hey dude, do you remember what I said about the report last week? Yeah, you said something about the numbers showing a 15% overage. 15%? Yeah. Is that bad or something? No, thank you. I totally forgot what I said last week and my supervisor is cracking down on me for those figures. You're a real godsend, you know that? I was so stressed about telling him some made up number and then having to prove it. I want to thank you for your photographic memory for the 10th time. I don't have a photographic memory. I just have a memory that's way better than yours. <laughs> yeah, I know. I just blame that on my football days back in college. Well, at least that makes you a good leader. What you lack in memorization skills, you more than make up for in building team spirit. Another thing to thank the football team for. Speaking of, I was thinking of getting everyone together for another trivia night at the bar on Saturday. Just some bonding with the new hires. The company is quickly growing. <laughs> yeah, remember back when we started? There were like, what, 20 of us? Now there are nearly 50. And we're in a new office building. A bigger office building. Another thing I have to thank you for. The office building? I really had no control over it. <laughs> you know that's not what I'm talking about. I know, but it's just fun to pull your leg sometimes. And besides, I'm sure that whatever company you chose to work for, you would have made real strides. Yeah, but nowhere near the climb I've had in this company. You said to take a chance on them even though they were a pretty new startup, and I almost didn't believe you. Well, the last place we were working for was not going anywhere. So it made sense for us. You're always thinking of other people. And that's why you're my best friend. So sentimental. So, are you in? For trivia night? Always. I know the team would never be able to win without me there. Photographic memory. I swear I don't have a photographic memory. Besides, I could do with the night away. Wife still giving you trouble? Not so much trouble as she's just distant lately. I don't know what to do. We've been having problems for over a year, and I thought we'd be able to work through them. But now, we're the most distant we've ever been. Well, the honeymoon phase is over. Once people pass the first or second year of marriage, that's when the real stuff begins. I remember with Nancy, we went through about a year-long rough patch. I'm sure that you and Ashley will work it out. If you want, maybe I could get Nancy to set up a dinner date or something. Yeah, maybe. You want to talk about it? How much time have you got? <laughs> well, I just finished my noon meeting, so I have a few minutes. Come on, lay it on me. Isn't this what best friends are for? Yeah, you're right. It's nothing too bad. At least I hope not. I just feel a little bit... suspicious? Suspicious? That's never a good thing to feel about your spouse. What kind is suspicious? Is there a good kind of suspicious? No, I guess not. But I just want to know whether I should be worried about your bank account or your pride. Probably my pride. So what? She's been disappearing for hours at a time? Maybe coming home smelling of cologne? What's happening? Nothing that obvious, which is why I don't know whether or not to be worried. I work long hours and sometimes I miss dinner. And that's fine and all, but whenever I get home, there's evidence that she cooked, but there are no leftovers. Not that I'm asking her to make me dinner every night and save my plate or whatever. I'm perfectly happy grabbing something on the way home if I need to. But it's just that I'll find dishes in the dishwasher. And there's usually two wine glasses. Okay? And then she's constantly washing the bedsheets now. Like every other day, I'll come home and the bedsheets will smell like fresh detergent and they'll even still be warm from the dryer. Maybe she just wants a tidy home? You know, maybe she's putting all of that pent-up energy into keeping the house clean? That's what I want to think, but I can't help but feel like that's not it. Before, she never really put much effort. You know, we're both working professionals, and we were both busy at our jobs. Back when things were good between us, we alternated with chores. And at one point, we were even discussing just hiring someone to come in and clean for us. But now, she's doing all of the cleaning, and it's whenever I'm out of the house. I know that sounds crazy, but it's just weird, isn't it? Like, she doesn't want me to see things or smell things. Okay, I'll admit that I do think you're a bit crazy. But if your gut is telling you that something is off, then it's good to trust your gut. 
Exactly. I haven't asked her much about it, I've just made a few comments here and there, and whenever I do, she just kind of laughs it off and goes into a different room. It's all stressing me out, so a night off would be really appreciated. Yeah, it makes sense that you're worried. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you, I've been a bit worried. Ashlyn used to come by the office a lot more, and now I don't think I've seen her there the last couple of months. I kind of figured that things might be in a rut between the two, but I had no idea that you thought she might be having an affair or something. I just don't know what to do. Should I confront her about it? I don't know. It's a tough choice. Because if you confront her without having any plausible evidence or being 100% sure, that will definitely cause a rift between the two of you. So my advice? I would wait until you're 100% sure. And what, just let her continue bringing whoever back to our house to sleep with? I mean, when was the last time you slept with your wife? A couple of months? Well, there you go. Do you really want to be with someone who might be potentially having an affair behind your back? No, I suppose not. It's just that, with marriage, I feel like I'm throwing the towel in too easily. It's not like I want to divorce her or something. At least not right now. Maybe if I knew for certain whether or not she was cheating on me, I would divorce her, but until then, until then... Yeah, I definitely need a night away. I will be there for trivia night on Saturday. Fantastic! I mean, I'm sorry that it's not under better circumstances, but at least we can hang out outside of work. I was thinking of inviting some of the janitors as well. They're always a laugh and a half whenever they come to the building while we're in a late night meeting. That'll be nice. I've always enjoyed their company. Maybe they'll have Saturday off too. While you're at it, you might as well invite some of the guys from the mail office. On the second floor? Yeah, the ones that deliver our mail to us. Great idea. You say I'm a good leader, but you always think of other people. You are a good leader. I'm A-OK -okay being in more of a supervisor role than a team leader role. That doesn't mean that you're not a fun time at trivia night. Exactly! Okay, I gotta go. Thanks for talking with me. I'll keep you updated on everything and I'll see you at trivia night. Hey honey, just to let you know, I'm going to be out Saturday. Saturday? Like the whole day? Or the evening? The evening. Oscar's getting a bunch of our coworkers together for a trivia night at the bar. It sounds like it'll be a lot of fun. I can't wait. How many hours are you going to be gone? Oh, I don't know. I guess until the trivia is done. I don't think they put hours on that kind of thing. So I won't know when you'll be home? No, I guess not. Why? What? No reason. I don't know why you would think I have anything planned. I have no plans. Oh, okay. Is everything okay? Why wouldn't they be? What are you getting at? If you have something to say, just say it. Whoa, okay. Sorry if I offended you or something. I didn't mean anything like that. I just wanted to check in and make sure that you're okay. Of course I'm okay. You know you don't need to check on me constantly. I'm not some fragile woman. Okay. But you are my wife and I'm your husband. It's kind of my job to be worried about you. Don't you agree? No, I don't agree. Look, I don't want to fight. I just want to know if you have any plans or something. And that's why you want to know exactly when I'll be home. I don't have any plans. Quit interrogating me. I'm not interrogating you. I'm just asking you a question. A really valid question. Seriously, what are you getting at? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I just wanted to let you know that I'll be out on Saturday. I don't know when I'll be home. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you, dude. That sounds pretty suspicious. Do you think we should set up cameras or something? No, I don't want to infringe on her privacy. Maybe she just really needs a night alone as well. I don't know what to do. I don't even know whether or not I should be concerned about anything. I tried to ask her about it before, and she told me again she didn't have any plans, but said it in a pouty way. Like whoever she could have seen had plans or something. It's just all confusing. Well, did you at least have fun last night? You were really putting away those drinks. <laughs> yeah, again, thank you so much for letting me crash at your place. I was definitely in no state to be driving home after all of that. No one was. 
That's why we all took cabs there. You seriously don't remember that? Really? That's so crazy. I literally don't remember that. I thought I drove there. Well, that's a relief that I don't have to go pick up my car from some bar. Well, breakfast is on the table for you. Nancy and I just had to go to a brunch that we had reserved. Yeah, no worries. I didn't expect you both to stay back and entertain me. How are you feeling? I left some aspirin by your bedside table. I really needed it. Thank you. I'm doing better. I guess after having a fight, but not really with Ashlyn last night, I drank a bit too much. Yeah, but we sure had a lot of fun. I mean, come on. Our team still took it home, even when you were plastered. I kind of feel bad. I hope that the janitor guy doesn't think that's how I behave normally. What was his name again? Darwin? No, Dylan. We shared a cab ride on the way home. He lives not too far from you, actually. Really? I guess that's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't really remember much of what we talked about. All I remember is that he has one green eye and one blue eye, right? Or was I just crazy? No, you weren't crazy. At least crazier than you usually are. He has heterochromia. That sounds serious. Wow, you must be really out of it still, huh? Maybe just a little bit. It just means that his eyes are two different colors. Yeah, Dylan seems like a fun guy. He seemed nervous last night. I don't really know what for. It wasn't until you were really babbling drunk that he seemed to relax. Huh, weird. You think he was nervous just hanging out with some of the office guys? No, I don't think so. I remember him coming in during our late night meetings and having a good laugh. I think he even kept your wife entertained for a little bit one time if I remember correctly. How do you mean? I remember when she was waiting for you after a particularly long meeting, you had some dinner reservation a couple of months back, and he was standing outside talking to her. He was just in his normal clothes though, so I didn't know it was him. When they saw me, they kind of went separate ways. I think Dylan was on his way out or something. Seems like a nice dude. Oh yeah, I remember Ashlyn mentioning she had talked to someone. That was one of the last times she came by the office. Now she doesn't like waiting for me. Although I never kept her waiting more than 20 minutes. Yeah, don't worry. If Ashlyn is having an affair, it's all on her, not you. That's actually very comforting to hear. Okay, I'm gonna head back. I'm sure Ashlyn is wondering where I'm at. It's already past noon. <laughs> yeah. And if you can, maybe you should talk to her? You know, getting drunk is not the answer to your marital problems. Yeah, I know. So wise. Shut up. I'm just trying to help you out. I know, I know. I'm just pulling your leg. Yeah, I think I'll have a serious conversation with her when I get back. Sounds good. Are you okay? Just leave me alone. Come on, it's been a couple of hours and I'm starting to get worried. Then maybe you shouldn't have accused me of cheating on you. Okay, but are you? You never gave me a yes or no. You just got upset and stormed out. I can't believe you. Honestly, you have such audacity to even ask me that. Again, you're not answering my question. You know what? I bet it's that friend of yours. The one with the perfect marriage to perfect little Nancy. I hate them. Whoa, what? You can't say that about my best friend and his wife. I can say whatever I want. Okay, you're mad. I get that. But that's not okay to say at all. Well, she tried to invite us over for dinner and was dropping hints that they could offer us some advice, like she's better than me or something. If only she knew. If only you all knew just how much better than you I am. Okay, seriously? Where is this coming from? You sound kind of insane. How dare you? I'm sorry, but I'm genuinely worried about you. Where are you? Why do you need to know? I'm nowhere. It's none of your business. Actually, it kind of is my business. I'm your husband, and I don't mean to say that in a way that means I control you or whatever, but it means that it's my right to be worried about you. I also have a right to know whether you're cheating on me or not. Why do you think I'm cheating on you? Because I keep finding two wine glasses in the dishwasher with the dinner dishes. There are no leftovers and the sheets are washed like four times a week. What the hell am I supposed to think? What? That's crazy. <laughs> you know, honey, you're really taking everything out of context. Am I? 
please enlighten me. I would, but I'm driving. Don't want to text and drive, you know. You're already texting me. What? No. You've literally been texting me this entire time. Just tell me the truth. A yes or no answer. Are you cheating on me? Stop saying that. God, and you wonder why we've been having trouble? It's because of you. Just leave me alone, okay? Okay, fine. Just tell me this. Are you okay? Just leave me alone. I'll be home whenever I feel like it. Okay, fine. Hey, dude, are you okay? You were completely silent in the meeting this morning. Yeah, I'm sorry. I guess I have a lot on my mind. Mondays, am I right? Yeah. Actually, do you have a moment to talk? Yeah, sure. What's up? I think my marriage is over. Whoa, really? You're absolutely sure? I'm pretty sure, yeah. I wouldn't say this lightly. I think our marriage is done. What happened? Did it have something with you crashing at our place Saturday night? If so, I'm sorry. No, it has nothing to do with that. Don't worry. It's just, when I got home yesterday morning, I talked with Ashlyn. At least I tried to. She was in the middle of laundry, and I asked her straight out if she was cheating on me. She didn't say yes or no. She just kind of yelled and stormed out, which is fair. Okay. And then she disappeared the rest of the day. I got worried and tried to ask her where she was, and then we had another fight. She said some pretty nasty stuff. To you? Yeah, but also about you and Nancy. It was completely out of hand. I don't even recognize her anymore. Like, she's acting so suspicious, yet denies everything. The final straw was when I looked at our bank statement and she had booked a room in some really swanky hotel downtown. And room service. Just for the night was hundreds of dollars. I mean... She wouldn't do that just for herself, right? Yeah, that definitely is suspicious. I want to try. I mean, I think I want to try and work things out between us. But she's not even trying to talk to me. She just argues and doesn't give me a straight answer on anything. I understand. Dude, that's tough. I'm sorry that that's happening. It's not like it's your fault. She also thinks she's better than everyone else which is so random to me. She said that only if we knew how much better she was than all of us. Like, what the hell was that about? I don't know. Maybe she's sleeping with some important guy. What if it's the CEO? <laughs> Not funny. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, fine. Maybe it's a little bit funny. Our CEO, who's never so much as looked at a woman, is having an affair with my wife, whom he's met once for three seconds at an awards thing. That would actually be hilarious. I'm glad you still have your sense of humor intact, dude. Yeah, same. Hey, why didn't you say that Dylan lives in the same building as me? What? Yeah, I saw him Saturday morning. I think he was still pretty hungover because he was acting weird when I said hi as we passed each other in the elevator. But I was pretty hungover too, so I don't blame him. <laughs> Wait, did you see him in your building? The one that needs you to buzz in? Yeah, I knew you said he lived close to me. I just didn't know you meant in the same building. If I had known that, I would have cabbed with him to the bar or something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god. What? What's up? He does not live in the same building as you. What? Yeah, he lives a couple of blocks away, in one of those basement suite things under the walk-ups. What? Why was he in my building then? That's a weird coincidence. Dude. What? Do I have to spell it out for you? Wait. You don't think. Yes. What? Are you kidding me? I really wish I was, but that's too much of a coincidence, don't you think? I mean, what was Ashlyn doing when you found her that morning? The laundry? What the hell? Is she sleeping with Dylan, our janitor? Apparently so. I mean, either that or everything is a humongous coincidence. 
That's too big of a coincidence. Whoa. Dylan's sleeping with my wife. How does he even know her? I mean, like I said, I saw them talking all those months ago, and they seemed to separate pretty quickly when I found them. Maybe that's not the first time they've met. Okay, I think I need to go talk to my wife. Soon to be ex-wife. I wish you the best of luck. Drinks and dinner are on me tonight. Thanks, man. Hey, are you still staying at the hotel? What? Hotel? What hotel? I can see your transactions on our joint account. That's kind of what bank statements are for. Damn it. I thought I used a different card. You're really not subtle. Subtle? What? <laughs> it's not like I'm trying to hide anything. Aren't you? I mean, isn't that why you can't give me a straight answer on anything? Are you seriously on about that? It's been a day already. Can't you just drop it? Maybe if you actually give me an answer to it, then I could drop it. But you've been avoiding me and my question. In fact, you've been avoiding me for a long time. What do you even want? I want a divorce. What? I want a divorce. No, we're not getting a divorce. My parents would be so disappointed. I wasn't asking. I'm filling out all the necessary paperwork right now. We've been done for a long time. I guess I just had hope still that we could work things out, but it's not happening. What? You're actually divorcing me? Yes. Fine. You know what? This is probably for the better. Yeah, at least we can agree on one thing. Since I'm so much better than you, <laughs> it's actually hilarious. What do you mean by that? How are you better than me? I'm done with you. I wasn't going to tell you, but I'm sleeping with someone else. And he's a millionaire. You mean the janitor from my office? Huh? Wow. I can't believe Oscar and I are actually right. You're sleeping with Dylan. What? How do you know it's Dylan? What do you mean that he's not a millionaire? He's an investor in your company, isn't he? Dylan? No, he's a janitor. No, he isn't. Yes, he is. You would think I would know our investors, wouldn't you? I'm the one who talks with them. But he was a part of that investors meeting you had all those months back. I spoke with him outside of the meeting. Wow, did Dylan tell you that? That he was an investor? Yes. And you believed him? He seemed to know a lot about the company. And then when that friend of yours came out, he said hi to him. What was I supposed to think? I don't know. Maybe that he was lying to you? How did he convince you that he was a millionaire? You didn't see any of his fancy cars or fancy apartment, did you? No, he's very private. I can't believe this. He lied to me. My life is ruined. The only reason why I started sleeping with him in the first place is because I thought you would be jealous. And even if you did end up divorcing me, I would get to marry him. My life is falling apart. Do you want me to feel sorry for you or something? Yes, you're my husband. Ex-husband, actually. Now I gotta go. Oscar and I are meeting up for some drinks. I can't wait to tell him everything about this. We're going to have a good, long laugh about all of this. Wait, you're still leaving me? You cheated on me. Of course I am. Everyone cheats on each other. It's a part of marriage at this point. I seriously can't believe you. I'm done. I'll send you the divorce papers. Goodbye, Ashlyn. Don't go falling for any other fake millionaires. <laughs> Damn it. I thought he was going to pay me back for the hotel. Ashlyn signed the divorce papers, thankfully. It wasn't nearly as messy as expected, but I think that it's only because Ashlyn was so embarrassed by the whole ordeal. She didn't want the lawyers, judges, and bystanders to know that she had believed that the janitor she was sleeping with had been a millionaire. Oscar and I confronted Dylan about the affair, and he turned heel and ran out the building. It wasn't until the next day that we found him hiding in the basement. He didn't want to lose his job and begged us for forgiveness. We only laughed and he was confused about it. He agreed to fetch us our lunches for the next quarter as a way to apologize and keep his job. I wonder if he knows that Oscar and I don't have the power to fire people. <laughs> <laughs>